What's up everybody? This is Charlotte. And this is Damien. Welcome back to our channel. And today we are going to do a wig review. And a wig update. So, stay tuned. Giving up is the worst mistake you could ever make. Oh yeah. Giving up is not a part of my DNA. <laughs> that was yesterday. I'm going to be talking about my wig, Alpine Meadow. Uh, if you're wondering more about the specs of this wig and what's on this card, please check out my last solo, well, my first solo video in the top corner to the left with the little eye. You'll see it. So, um, yeah, so let's get started. So I've worn this wig for three weeks now, and it lasted for a good solid two weeks. And the hair is pretty good, and I loved it when it first came out the box, and then after the second week, it was like, help me. So, um, I do sweat a lot in my nape area, so that causes one of the problems of this wig, and that is the matting and the tangling, which also causes my shedding. I go like this on my wig, and I can pull, and wow, okay, I don't know if y'all can see that. But that is a lot of hair that keeps continuously coming out. And I don't know if you can see this. It's like this big old black string. Okay, yeah, that's like a track. So, yeah. So, I have experienced that. I did brush out this wig before we started this video. With my powder brush with the metal tips or whatever. So, if you're wondering, you know, like, because this part is a little straight, if you're wondering how you get it back to their as natural state, as I said, I probably didn't mention, but this wig is heat resistant and it goes up to 400 degrees. So, you can curl it, and that's up to you, whether you want to curl it or you can do it this way. You can use this On Natural Premium Oil-Free Rimmy Hair for curly, curly and wavy hair. It's a curl defining a uh, curl defining conditioner and detangler for synthetic hair, natural hair, and weave. So yeah, it was five six dollars at my uh, at my beauty supply. So check out your local beauty supply and see if they have it. And also, I uh, you wet it with that spray until it gets damp. Then uh, brush it, uh, brush it, <laughs> and then put uh, the flexi rods in. And this is the kind of size of flexi rod that you would need. So, uh, you take a reasonable, reasonable piece of hair that you're going to brush out, and you don't want too big of a piece unless you don't have that many flexi rods. So, you take it, and you roll it like this. And I'll show you how to do it in my uh, next video, and when I wash the wig, and bend the ends. And just let it uh, dry overnight on, air dry overnight on a manicure. Come ahead. Come <laughs> so do that and when you take it off the next morning we take off uh, the flexi rods the hair will return to its natural state and it's a beautiful curl so um, do that and if you don't want to do that like I said before you can use heat so this hair is pretty good for the most part for the first two weeks by the time the third week rolls around it's time to get a new hair so or or you can just, oh yeah, yeah, you can cut off the matted pieces or the uh, tangled pieces. So I could have, could cut this, and I think I might cut it to make it into a bob, and I might cut it down like that. So, I can make a cute curly bob, because this part is still holding up, and I think the only reason why it's holding up is because it's the shorter pieces of that, the wig. So, I think this is for all wigs, it starts to get tangled the longer the hair is so like the 18 inches is very tangled the 16 is tangled but like up to the, the 14 and the 12 and all the extra stuff it is not all that tangled and it holds their its curl as you can see so uh, this hair is good hair I rated a 5 after having it for 3 weeks so please check out my latest video uh, my last well, my solo video at the top thanks and purchase this hair Okay guys, so I'm going to do my review on Danity, and I have Danity, sorry, this is the Free Trust Equal Danity, and I have it in the color 99J, OP99J, 
which is like one of the most popular colors right now and this is uh, kind of an old wig um, lots of people have done reviews on it and I saw it I liked it I liked the color and so I was really excited about getting this wig and when I got the wig I got it with my Janie so um, I kept it boxed up for about two maybe two weeks three weeks almost a month and um, I didn't even touch it so when I went in to try it on just to see what it looks like because uh, of the color and um, what it looked like on my skin so what I did was I pulled it out of the bag and I noticed a couple of cons on this wig immediately one con I'm going to show you guys if you can see that yeah. this is my Milano wig grip underneath and there's like 10 tracks missing off of this right here that was problem number one number two this track right here as you can see it's sticking up because it is sewn in backwards so I always have that one piece there and I have to pull this hair back so that that piece does not stick up okay those are first two cons so let's see the third one is this right here when you wear your hair and it separates like that constantly and then you're pulling it back and then other pieces are falling down and it is just not flowing at all and this wig also has a lot of loose hairs so I'm gonna go in a little bit if you can see like all these little loose flyaway hairs they're constantly in my eyes and in my face all over the day so I'm doing like this constantly and it's not working because it's falling down again and it's just a fight it really is um, but I don't like to cut my synthetic hair because it starts to damage it you can't do too much with a synthetic wig you just have to leave it as it is um, and speaking of that I have my part here I did not tweeze it this is the natural part of the wig all I did was put a little bit of makeup over the line of demarcation and just lay my baby hairs down I don't have any leave out because um, my hair does not match this color and my baby hairs right now are not on fleek because I don't have a perm so they are kind of curly so um, I don't have any leave out on this side either um, and um, another thing that I don't like about this wig is all the hair is to the front and as you can see and this hair is uneven see look at this already okay so this hair is uneven this goes well under the boob area and this stops right here like what is happening with this if I take this hair longer pieces and try to pull them over to the side it doesn't do it any justice and it makes the wig look a little weird in the back because all the long hairs are on one side of the wig now I don't know if it's just this wig personally that is just not acting right because um, it was made incorrectly um, but other people's wigs may have done right but this is just my review on the wig that I received and I did try to return the wig but because I kept it so long without wearing it um, time expired on wig types return policy and so I got stuck with the wig so I'm not too happy about that but that's another video and another time so the hair does tangle and it's very similar to Alpine Meadow they're like sisters or something and if you it has lots of tangling and it does shed not as much as Alpine Meadow but it does have some shedding just very minimal shedding there and um, the ends they are a little bit on the frizzy side um, I use the same spray that Davian used on her Alpine and I dampened the hair all the way to the ends with that spray and I brushed it out and I set it on the mannequin head and let it dry overnight I didn't curl it or anything and it did get soft again and it came back to normal but maybe within I don't know a day or two it was back at that so you have to continuously do maintenance on these two wigs but when I got this wig for the first time 
the hair was very soft it was very kind of silky it does not have a, a kinky texture to it at all until it starts getting all frizzy then it feels a little bit kinky but um i don't want to act like everything was wrong with this wig but pretty much everything was wrong with this wig when i purchased it and that's just the way that the wig was made they didn't finish making the wig and they wouldn't return my money at wig types yes wig types.com so i have started to get my wigs off of hairsisters.com and also off of ebony line and i have better quality wigs there um wig types is cheaper but maybe that's why this is what you get so um there's also a few like little alfalfa hairs in this wig I don't know if they're like baby hairs in the scalp or something I don't know what's going on with that <laughs> but they're just like little hairs just sticking up and they weren't there at first <laughs> sorry <laughs> oops <laughs> they weren't there at first <laughs> but um I don't know they just started popping up so this wig I would give it a six because i did like the texture it is a very pretty wig when you when i first got it people thought i had sew-in because the hair yes. was very the barrel curls were very big and it looked like bundles and yes. so everybody was like oh my god who did your hair so i give it a six it is a really pretty wig but the quality of this one is a two thumbs down so, like Davian said, check out her solo video uh, review on Alpine in the upper left hand corner. And also, <clears throat> like us, subscribe, and comment if you've had a Danity and, or an Alpine and let us know how that came out for you. Did you have the same problems that we had or was the wig just perfect for you? Let us know. Comment down below. Thank you guys. Bye. Just when you thought it was the end hey. It only just begun